Hey, how's it going, people? Um, on ARK today, I've been actually playing ARK for uh, a while. It's one of the main games I still play. I haven't been posting as many videos, but uh, I, f I figured I'd post one today of doing a base tour. I'm over here on Extinction, and uh, my base is over there on the balcony in front, of, in front of me. There's another guy right up in front, but yeah, mine's over there. It's right in the middle of this uh, Sanctuary East area, right, right overlooking these waterways. Yeah, let's fly over there. But yeah, basically I've been getting kind of bored of some of these servers, especially Extinction. And uh, before I give up my base, I figure I'll do a tour so I got something to remember it by. <laughs> but yeah, check it out. I tried to integrate this one into the environment really seamlessly. So it sits right up on this little piece of metal between these two waterfalls. And there's these paths here that you can easily gate off they're almost one behemoth gate wide exactly so I could have all my extra animals in this area right here and then have my base right here it's also got a cool balcony over here uh, I'll get to that in a second let me uh, land and take in on foot yeah this uh, this was intended to be the front uh, back when I first made it you know there was hardly anybody had any flyers there was no wyverns here yet this this I uh, made the first like weekend or whatever of extinction so I figured people would most likely approach from the ground here you know they'd walk up and approach and got my little sign here and it looks pretty big from the outside but uh, some of that is just wrapping around a courtyard so we get inside it's basically two halves there's the courtyard area where a whole lot of my early tames would sit and uh, the, in the interior area with the crafting stations and all that and check that set I integrated around is this fountain right here. This was part of the level, obviously. You can't build fountains. But uh, I built the, uh, the level, you know, I built my base pieces right up to it. So it looks like it's part of my base. It's uh, a couple of gaps, but you can't really notice from most angles. And also it integrates with this area over here. There's this, like, little garden bed here in the middle. So I have my... Uh, my glass come right up to it and then I have it here in the courtyard looks pretty nice then I got another fountain over here on this side they, they're actually not symmetrical across the way these two are not symmetrical they're off a little so I had to uh, come in at a little bit of an angle to try and uh, integrate with it a little bit I couldn't integrate the foundations with it directly because like I said they're not symmetrical so you can't really integrate both of them at the same time unless you do offset floors somewhere and I didn't want to they look bad but yeah, here's the courtyard. <clears throat> One of the other features I have here is I put my uh, generator room off to the side because I, I don't like the noise it makes, you know. It's always, well, it used to make loud grinding noises. I guess they've sort of muted air conditioners and generators now, but they used to be annoying, so I'd put them off to the side. But yeah, it's actually got wires coming from that uh, through the floor here, coming into this area here, so you can't actually see any of the wires. They're all integrated into the floors. All of the lights come off them. Uh, pretty seamlessly. You can't really see any extra wires or pipes. Well, you can see these pipes. But yeah, I also have some pipes coming uh, out of this area right here. You can't really see, see them. But yeah, they're integrated into the side of this fountain through that back wall. And then it, it comes connects to this guy here. And one runs under the floor to the two uh, watering areas right here for my, my crops. But yeah, so it's a pretty well integrated base yeah this wall right here is actually part of the level I left it in there to have a little bit of different variation to the wall but yeah that's not built that's part of the level geometry but yeah another cool feature about this base that I had to do on extinction because of all the corrupt dinos is I put in these metal reinforcements throughout the area and they're too wide to keep wyverns from getting in because wyverns used to just burst right in here and wreck everything so yeah, every every two walls you'll see there's a uh, metal reinforcement either on the outside or the inside behind there behind there to keep um, wyverns from getting in and also on the ceiling. I went with the uh, catwalks. They take a, they take longer to destroy, but they're you know more minimalized appearance. I like the look of stone, so I still kept as much stone as I could because I just like the look. It looks more friendly. But then I needed the strength of some of this metal, so I integrated a bunch of metal into it. Yeah, because before I had that, I had one burst right in this window and just wreck everything. And trash the whole place. 
But yeah, let me take you up on the roof. And up here, you can see the like, vaulted glass. You can see around. Got a nice little railing. And you can see I had to put some extra pieces here to keep people from sneaking in, kiting things in, because people can get pretty creative when they're trying to screw each other over. So you gotta gotta think ahead. Had to add some turrets up here too, because even a, even a corrupted dillo can get in and wreck havoc. This area right here you can't build in, so I just cordoned it off and kind of you know kept it out of the build. You can't really build on it; it's blocked. But yeah, this area up here I got beds and some stuff, some extra fridges. Yeah, it all, it all comes together pretty cool. Yeah, this here is another neat little feature. I stacked the uh, fabricator up on top of these smithies. You can basically um, have like a half step down wall support this ceiling right here. Put your foundation, put your, uh, what do you call it, fabricator on top of it. And it uh, makes a pretty compact workstation. Mm, that's that's most of the features of the base. It's also got this uh, cool patio, like balcony area. There's a neighbor right down below me, so I can't actually uh, build past this foundation here. I couldn't even build. Oops, whoop, oh, lag warp. I couldn't even build foundations right here because there used to be stuff down below, and uh, the foundations set lower than ceilings, so I had to go with ceilings. But yeah, th I got the f forge out here. I got a little mailbox. <laughs> Now I figure people are most likely to come at the base from this side, so I put the mailbox on on this side instead. But yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much the place. That's the base. It's uh, pretty low tech for the most part, but I just needed an outpost over here. I didn't want to build up too much. I didn't want to make my main base here on extinction because at the time it was so laggy, and plus the uh, community here was pretty awful. So uh, I didn't really want to invest too much time and resources and effort into a base on here. But I did want to have a little outpost base to, uh, you know, do some of the new content, which are pretty much done by now. So there's not really a whole lot else for me to do over here. So, uh, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and record the base for posterity and uh, probably be done with it. But yeah, thanks for tuning in. I might do another uh, couple of videos on some of my other bases. Uh, some of them have pretty unique architecture. This is the most integrated one with the environment, but I have a couple other ones that do really neat building tricks. So I might go over some of those on some of my other builds in the next, uh, you know, so many days, maybe. So tune in if you like this kind of arc architecture stuff. And uh, have a good one. See ya.